One rapper lost his life for taking a picture. And another dropped a diss so crazy, it ruined his entire life. This is when dissing goes horribly wrong. And we gotta start with FBG Duck. Because one song he dropped was so disrespectful that it got him less than a month after dropping it. Duck was known for dissing ops on songs. But in 2019, he dropped a song named Chicago Legends. Where he shouted out dudes from both sides who had died. Like Nooski, Fredo Santana, and L.A. Capone. Fans thought Duck was easing off all the dissing. But then, Memo 600 and King Von dropped the song, Exposing Me. Von raps, your homie died, I'm smoking that. I'm tired of smelling Tuca and Lil Mark, and I'm tired of scrap. Then Memo dissed Tuca, saying, of that Zico, Tuca, and that Fats. And this is what pissed Duck off, since he was trying to stop the dissing. So Duck and Ruger remixed the song, and sent shots right back at their ops, saying, your homie, he dead. You heard what I said. Droid, Odie, D-Thang, and Tie Head. Later in the song, he went on to diss several more dead ops, and his ops weren't really tripping after they heard this song. But in July 2020, things would change, because Duck dropped a song named Dead on the hook. He says, made Chicago legends. That was just about business. Said I wasn't gonna diss the dead and okay, I did it. But T-Roy and Odie, them dead. And many say Duck made a huge mistake dissing T-Roy, since he was like a god in No Block. Because not even a full month after dropping this diss, Duck was out shopping in the Gold Coast neighborhood, which is a wealthy and safe place in the city. But while they were walking down the street, two cars pulled up, and four shooters hopped out and started sending shots at Duck. Duck got hit in the chest and neck, and unfortunately, died later that day. Soon as the news broke, rumors started flying that dudes from O Block were behind the hit. At first, the rumors didn't have any evidence to back them up, but Boss Top from O Block did an interview and almost admitted that O Block was the ones who took out Duck for dissing them. Did you know him? Who Duck? Did you know him before? Ain't like everything? No duck like that. I don't know. No game. All I know, don't say about Troy or. Then, in October of 2021, the police arrested five dudes from Oblock for Duck's death. But if you thought that was crazy, one rapper lost his life on IG Live after dissing an OG, and another lost his life for saying too much in an interview. But first, let's talk about FBG Cash, because his situation is crazier than what happened to Duck. Before Cash died, he went viral when he posted a picture of him throwing up his middle finger while standing next to the King Von mural across the street from Oblock. According to Cash, he and Dirk were messaging each other back and forth, talking crazy. Then Dirk challenged him to go over there and take that picture. Cash even explains it in this No Jumper interview. Oh yeah, so why'd you take that picture with the King Von mural? Dirk told me to. How did he tell you to? He threw text. Now he blocked me now, but yeah, through text. And not long after this pick, Dirk dropped his song, Computer Murderers, and raps. Sneaking pics by Von Mural, like Lil Bro, won't come out and spin. So Dirk was warning Cash that he shouldn't have done that. Three months after Dirk released that song, FBG Cash ended up losing his life after getting shot while driving on the south side of Chicago. A south side rapper was killed this morning after a gunman armed with a rifle opened fire on his car. 31-year-old Tristan Hamilton performed under the name FBG Cash. Now, Let's move on to BTB Savage, because according to Savage, a local rapper had been trying to get a feature from him for a while. And one night, the dude got in touch with Savage and finally agreed to do a feature. So later that night, the other rapper pulled up to his apartment with a car full of dudes. And the rapper came into Savage's apartment with another dude named Omar Richardson. Savage said he felt weird since both of them were looking around his spot when they walked in. But then Omar upped the bankroll, so Savage thought it was all good. The dudes then came in with a box full of studio equipment so they could get to work. But then... The other rapper said he was missing a few things. So Omar told him to go back and get it out of the car. Savage thought something was off, so he locked the door when the rapper went outside. And that's when everything went left. Omar started asking Savage about his jewelry, and Omar eventually upped his fire and told Savage to hand over everything. At first, Savage didn't want to give it up, but then Omar threatened to shoot Savage and his girlfriend. So Savage started taking his chains off, and when Omar reached to grab Savage's chain, Savage saw an opportunity. So he wrapped Omar up in his arms and fell to the ground, and they started wrestling. Omar's strap fell out of his hand, and that's when Savage yelled for his girl to come shoot Omar. She came in and popped him twice, but that didn't slow him down, because Omar managed to get his hands on a gun and let three shots off at Savage's girl. And thankfully, all the shots missed, and Savage got Omar back under control. Savage told Omar to leave since his son was in there, but Omar ain't listen, and he told Savage he was gonna kill him and kept fighting. That's when Omar's partners came up and started shooting through the door, but they didn't hit anything. When they stopped shooting, Savage's girl popped back at them with two shots, and that's when Omar's partner left him to die. 
Omar kept fighting, and Savage's girl shot Omar one more time in the torso, and Omar ended up passing away. Savage and his girl got off on self-defense. It was a crazy situation that took over the internet. Savage even went on to do an interview with Vlad TV, and it hit 2 million views in less than a week. But Savage's ops weren't happy about it, since Savage was talking cocky in the interview. I mean, are you at all concerned that his people are going to try to come back? Yeah, they for sure might do, they might do what they do, but I'm going to get active. That's all it is. Then on March 30th, Savage posted pics on Twitter of him standing in a pool of dried blood where Omar had lost his life. Savage was trolling the dude, and the pics instantly went viral, since no one had ever seen anything like that on the net. But two hours after posting those pictures, BTB Savage was in his Mercedes driving around until two men pulled up, boxed him in, then started letting off shots. And by the time help arrived at the scene, it was already too late. And some people blamed the interview for his tragic death, while others blamed the picture, since the picture was very disrespectful. Even though it with self-defense. Let's move on to Chicago rapper Mubu Crump, because one day he decided to go live at the location Lil Durk's cousin Nooski died and talk very disrespectful about Nooski since they were known ops. Them left uh, Chino, I mean Nooski. They left right here. You feel me? They left ass up here on folks them tweak. Buy some shoes. Y'all see, y'all see real be up here though. Play with me up here on folks this be on the news. I look like Nooski. Then not long after this, Crump decided to get more disrespectful. So he pulled up at the location Lil Durk's manager Chino died and decided to do the same thing. Hey, y'all got that order for Nooski? Chino burger. Chino burger. Yeah, y'all got it? Hey, right? Crump would then go on to troll Nooski again on live. Look, you wanna know why I say Nooski name all the time? Cause Nooski told me he was gonna kill me, bro. So then it was funny to me when he got clapped. Like when when the clap, right? clap you, I'm gonna put this up there like that. And he was nonstop with the dissing and trolling. But on May 25th, 2018, things would change because Crump was at a house party with 051 Melly. Both of them were standing outside the house and a car drove by and somebody started sending shots. Melly was shot multiple times and one bullet even grazed his head. Unfortunately, Crump was shot twice in the arm and twice in his torso. He was then rushed to the hospital and died from his injuries. Now let's move on to G-Money because in a 2017 interview with Say Cheese TV, G-Money told Say Cheese how he hooked up with young boy's sister and young boy was mad about it. He mad, he mad about his sister too though. About his sister? Yeah, I had fucked her a long time ago. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I he mean, mad about I mean... that. He was... He wasn't really tripping on it back then, though, you know what I'm saying? He'd be calling me big brother and you hear me? And a month later, after this interview, G Money dropped the diss name Industry. And in the song, he gets disrespectful, saying, Your sister swallowed, so I never kissed her. But I with her, so I never dissed her. G Money was rising in fame after all of this, but he wasn't moving too smart and kept dissing NBA Youngboy and his homies, saying how he was still recording at the same studio and driving the same cars, which wasn't smart. Because one night, G Money was in the studio finishing up another recording session until shortly after leaving around 1 a.m., he was shot by an unknown person who was waiting for him at the door. But G Money isn't the only rapper from TBG who died after dissing someone, and it didn't turn out good. The same happened with Boulevard Quick, because in 2018, after Quick got out of prison, he started going hard with the music as well. And in August 2018, he dropped the video for his song, Never Lacking. And at the end, he went on a huge rant against Youngboy. And YB's mom hopped in and told Boulevard Quick to leave him alone. But Boulevard Quick wasn't hearing that and responded, telling her to mind her business, which really pissed Young Boy off. Man, yeah, man, Young Boy, mom, tell me about this. That eat a big long. So just a few weeks later, he was shot and killed. In November 2018, the police found Quick's body in the parking lot of his apartment complex. And YB recently spoke on the situation again on Impact, saying, Spoke on my mama, I ain't wanna talk. I end up killing her. 
And this next rapper got caught lacking on live after dissing. Because Indian Red Boy is a rapper and gang member from California associated with the Inglewood Bloods, who's known for beefing with the Rolling 60 Crips. Because a member from the Inglewood Bloods even defaced Nipsey Hussle's mural and tagged his name over his name to let them know who did it. And Nipsey's people didn't take this too well. So they made a video telling the Bloods if they don't punish this guy named Capone who did that, they're going to take things into their own hands. You gonna come over here and put this baby Capone all right, nigga. I bet you gonna change your name today. Nigga. I bet you that, nigga. Y'all need to, y'all need to beat that nigga right now before the homies mine up and and, 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 and come do some dumb shit, y'all. Nigga. And not long after that video, Indian Red Boy got into the situation and defended Capone and went on to diss the Rolling 60s. But not long after all of this, Indian Red Boy was chilling in his car, laughing with Capone on Instagram Live. But out of nowhere, you could hear shots going off in the background. Red Boy is then seen gasping for air. So Capone asked him for the location he was at. But Red Boy could barely make out the words, Hearthorn, before passing away. And since the defacing of Nipsey's mural brought a lot of attention to the two of them, so many people assumed that this incident was their way of getting payback. But some say that's not true. Since you have other people saying that he was shot over since he had switched on his gang. Because Red Boy wasn't always a member of the Inglewood Bloods. He used to rep Hollywood Pyru from Compton, but he left this gang on bad terms and his own people took him out. But American rappers aren't the only ones who died after dissing. Because UK rapper J. Sav also had something crazy happen to him after dissing. In 2018, J. Sav dropped a song dissing all of his ops. And the song was very disrespectful. And not long after dropping this song, J. Sav was standing outside, waiting for his mom, until two cars with stolen license plates approached him. And the guys hopped out and poked him to death. But it's one rapper who ain't die after dissing young boy. And you gotta see what Boosie revealed about YB. So click this video to see rappers who never feared NBA young boy.